Positive. It is President's Day with flags flying all across the country. Let's talk about Utah's state flag. And we saw the unveiling of the 125th anniversary commemorative banner last year. Could this be in the running to replace the standard dark blue with the stamp of the state seal that's remained basically unchanged for more than a century here in our state? This is flagmachine.com. This is a site created by a couple of local designers who want you to get involved in the creative process. No artistic ability necessary. The idea wasn't really to say what the flag would be. It was to, we really need to see a lot of ideas of what it could be. Ideas, they're going to get them to creators John Dilworth and Rob Foster. Uh, they'd like to see a lot of things because it starts off on that site with a basic like 50 flag designs that then you can customize with seemingly endless possible icons and shapes and colors. You're the artist, you're the designer of your own Utah flag. Now check out the Twitter handle at the flag machine where people are already getting in on the fun. We know one of the big reasons for the redesign is so that people want to say loud and clear, we are from Utah. I don't look around and see the Utah flag being worn on people's T-shirts, on stickers, yeah. on their cars, any of that stuff. We love our state, and we want it to be represented well. Uh, we do, too. Guys, the official site to submit your flag designs is flag.utah.gov, an official state site. The deadline is April 30th. Now, I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with here in Utah with so many possibilities. How would you like to see what the KSL Today team? came up with. You want to see this? The flag machine was our tool, and here you go. Our producers putting kind of a different spin on it here. Sarah's black, white, and earth tone take with delicate arch in the center. I like this one. Uh, Tylee's got, not that I don't like Tylee's, but here, here's Tylee's too. Pennant shape with kind of a mix of jazz colors maybe with the mountains. Braden says let's go straight for the dinosaur because hey, why not? We've got the Utah raptor and dinosaurs in Utah. Tasia has kind of an alternate version of the beehive there. How about Lori's? Here's Lori's, the striped look with a seagull. Kind of an, an animated looking seagull there. Uh, Shara's goes back to the beehive with some definite southern Utah vibes and shades of red and orange. Uh, here's mine, only because I, I had to settle on something because boy, you can go down a rabbit hole and do this forever. I like the delicate arch look. Uh, the best part about these, uh, the potentially millions of variations and designs, it really customizes it to what you would like to do and see. So April 30th is the official deadline for the official state site. Guys, I have to ask you, what has to be on there? What's non-negotiable? Is it uh, an arch? Is it like delicate arch? Is it a seagull, a beehive, the mountains? What, what must we have on the flag when they redesign it officially? Well, in terms of aesthetic, I think I like Shara's the best. Shara's really look do. nice? Yeah, the, the mountain. The beehive there? Oh, is the me? Yeah, the mountain. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, beehive and mountains, yeah. no doubt. Okay. I, I know with Salt that. Lake went with the seagull lily, so you, the, the, there's all kinds of symbols we could see on it. We'll just have to see what that redesign looks like. My favorite state flag, to be honest with you, is South Carolina's. South Carolina, the palmetto, the palmetto state, palm the palm tree, tree yeah. And the moon. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think we got to have the mountains in there somehow. Yeah, right? we do.